Hey guys, <laughs> this is your mid-month reading for um, November. Take you guys on into December. Christmas is coming so fast. This year has gone by extremely fast. <clears throat> you see I put a, a Romance Angels card. Well, actually it's two. I pulled two for you guys. And um, we'll check those out at the end of the reading. <laughs> see what that is. <clears throat> and see if we get an added message for you guys. My sinuses are acting up right now. Um, I don't do very well with heat. But um, it's cold. So I'm going to turn it off here in a bit though. Because it's making me stuffy. Let's see. What's going on with my Aries here? Nine of chalices, nine of cups, Piscean energy. Um, either there is a Pisces involved in your situation. You're, you guys could actually be on the cusp, <coughs> excuse me, of Pisces and Aries here. But this is all about your own happiness, doing what's right for you, doing what feels good to you, okay? Nines are all about the self, a single energy. So I think um, for the most part, you guys are trying to embrace um, this newfound uh, status of being single here and um, just trying to live your best life. This is the moon, cancer energy. Okay, but you kind of go back and forth. Um, uh, some things are not really known to you. There's still some things that are, are hidden. I think you still have very deep feelings for someone. And um, it's not hindering you, but it's still in the back of your mind here. There's something about this situation that I feel like you would like some clarity on. Okay. What's challenging my Aries? Eight of Swords. Breaking out of this cycle of, you know, thinking about whatever happened between you guys in the past. Um, being held back. Feeling restricted and restrained within your own thoughts. I think... You know, just not being clear about what really happened with this person is what's really holding you back from fully embracing, um, you know, what it is that you want to do from here forward. That's Gemini energy there with the Eight of Swords. What's the underlying issue here for Aries? Temperance. Getting your head and heart together so you can make a decision that's right for you. Um... <coughs> <clears throat> I think your head takes over a lot of the time, okay? In your heart, you know what you want to do. You know what's best for you. But I think that um, just kind of thinking about things from the past and maybe that, you know, you could possibly work things out with this person, um, I think it kind of throws you off. It, it, it makes you um, imbalanced, you know? <laughs> I think you get lost in your thoughts sometimes instead of letting your heart kind of guide you, you know, thinking logically about things, but, you know, letting your heart kind of guide you where you need to go. Um, Sagittarius energy there. Hmm. Let's see <clears throat> the recent past for you guys here. Tower. There's a breakup. For a lot of you, suddenly, um, something you guys just were not expecting. and But I feel that you're trying to, you know, basically accept and embrace that now it's time to live for you. But, you know, you keep getting stuck on whatever happened between you guys in the past. Whatever you felt like, you know, went wrong. Um, you're trying to rationalize certain things and some things just cannot be um, rationalized or reasoned with. And also I feel like you're trying to, to figure out, you know, did you have more responsibility? Should you take more responsibility for what happened between the two of you? And you kind of get lost in that, thinking that maybe it was you or you, you could have done more, you know. So, <clears throat> I do feel like, you know, even though you guys are trying to do your own thing, that, you know, there's still something about this relationship that 
that you still get stuck on. You, you reminisce about this person. Um, some of you are actually wanting to make amends with this person and do the right thing. What you feel is the right thing anyway. Okay, Scorpio energy there with the tower. Crowning thoughts for Aries. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, see, the underlying issue here is temperance. This is like basically filleting yourself open spiritually and wanting to do what's right, wanting to make things right, um, figure out if there's something that you can do. Okay, but in your head, I see you guys wanting to move on, move forward, do new things. Leave this behind. I feel that you are definitely at a crossroads here. Um, but I don't know. I feel like you guys are actually beating yourselves up sometimes about the breakdown of this relationship. Okay. <clears throat> What's coming in for Aries? Death. You have the tower over here in the recent past, and now you have death over here. What's coming in? And I think this is all about being able to let go of what has happened because you cannot change it. Okay? And moving forward doing something completely new with what the information that you have currently it wasn't working it was instability there you're by yourself trying to make you happy so I think all of these thoughts of whatever happened between you in the past and did you really, you know, have a hand in the breakdown of this, I feel like you guys are letting that go. It's done. And moving forward. I see that's what you want to do. So again, we have Scorpio energy here. How is Aries viewing this situation? Four of Swords. I do get that you guys are healing and you're really tired of like thinking about it. You just want to be able to let go and move on. You want to get over this. You want to get past this hurdle. You want to stop having all of these ruminating thoughts and thinking about shit over and over again. Replaying moments that happen between the two of you. You just want to be able to let it go and move forward. Hmm. Libra energy there. <clears throat> the influence here for Aries. King of Swords. I feel like there is an air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, I think this person is somebody that's probably mean. Um, they come across as very kind of cold and non-feeling. I do get that this person, you know, feels like they have all the answers. They are know-it-all. Know um, and I don't get that this person is changing or has changed. Whatever it is that they believe, um, if they believe they're right, they still believe they're right. They'll always believe they're right. So I'm getting strong like um, Aquarius type energy. Um, Gemini Libra is here of course as well. But um, yeah. They're not facing the fact that uh, you know they had a hand in what went wrong between the two of you. This person still affects you because I'm getting that this person has not you know, taking accountability for their actions. I see that you are here. You're trying to. But regardless, if this person is not accepting that they had a hand in it, then it's not going to work out. And you know that there's no need for you to sit up and, um, you know, think about where you went wrong with them. 
If you're thinking about where you went wrong, then I think you're thinking about it for uh, some other potential situation. So you won't make the same mistakes again is what I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Aries. And then we have the hanged man, that you won't always be stuck in this situation, that you won't always have to sacrifice yourselves for the greater good of the relationship, that you will be able to move forward and move on, okay? You want some change in your life. You want, you know, this stagnant situation to end. So you can be able to, you know, get into a relationship that you feel like has reciprocity, that you feel like has transparency, that has emotional um, maturity and growth in it. You want that. You don't want to be stuck, you know. mm, -mm. What is the overall outcome here for Aries? Nine of Swords. I think you guys are feeling like you're never going to be able to um, move on. Like you're never going to be able to have that relationship where you're not constantly battling or you're not constantly, this person is not constantly playing mind games with you. Um, I think some of you are fearing that you know, the relationship that you deserve, you're not going to get it. I think that's what this is, that you'll never be able to fully move on past this person even. Like you're never going to get over them. And you know that is not the truth. With the Nine of Swords energy, that is not the truth. Okay, so let's see what your Romance Angels cards are. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. And then we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is so Aries here. So Aries, the babies of the zodiac. You guys are free spirited. Okay. If you want a relationship, if you want to, um, you know, explore relationships again, then you have to believe that you can attain the type of relationship that you want. Because if you're sitting up saying what you don't want, I don't want a relationship like I had before. And then all the universe hears is I had it before. So guess what? It comes around again. So only speak positivity into the universe about what it is that you want. Don't speak about what you don't want, guys, okay? So, very strong message for you. If you feel like this was the love of your life, but they were an asshole, um, and you feel like you're never going to get over them, um, that's not true. But if you keep speaking it, never get over them, that's what the universe hears, okay? So, it's going to be like this revolving cycle of... Um, emotional ups and downs here with um, that moon energy under there and um, it's just going to be this cycle all right guys so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye